Hey everyone, it's Owen here from Otech, and today I'll be unboxing the Superflower VDEX Gold 750 watt power supply. So this is a 90% plus uh, efficiency power supply, hence the 80 plus gold rating. So this is quite an efficient power supply from Superflower, and they're also the manufacturers of EVGA power supply. So you know that Superflower does make good stuff, so EVGA also uses them. And they also sell them retail like this one. So here's on the side of the box itself. There's a bunch of features uh, listed. And also on the side here, you can also see the different models since they use this basically the same box for everything. So they have to indicate it somehow. Uh, and here's the more uh, specifications and features at the back. So if you want to read them, you can pause the video. And you know, this is not the specific uh, specifications of the internal power supply that's on the power supply itself this is just the specifications for the general super flower uh, power supply range since they use the same box for everything so immediately after opening it you can see that the power supply itself is packed pretty well between two foam pieces so there's little chance that the power supply itself will break in shipping so you shouldn't worry too much about that and here's the power supply itself so you can see that it has a normal matte black finish like any power supply and also a stamp uh, super flower logo on the side and here's the power supply specifications for uh, itself so this is the real specifications so almost the full 750 watts on the 12 volt rail so that's really good and yeah you know the fan grill here you can see is just in a typical uh, super flower fashion which is these like uh, hexagonal patterns which is not as ideal as wire fan grills but it does look unique and it doesn't really restrict airflow too much by the looks of it and I mean EVJ is also using it so it must be okay so it must be pretty okay so uh, yeah here it is the modular panel you can see the motherboard connectors are a little different from the others since uh, you don't want to mess up those ones but all the other connectors are pretty much universal so you can connect uh, from the hard drive SATA connectors to the PCIe uh, 6 plus 2 6 plus 2 pins all on the same connector type anywhere so that doesn't really matter and it just makes everything a lot easier without worrying uh, of yourself plugging in something in the wrong place so yeah that's pretty nice and they also have white LEDs behind them which will light up once you plug something in so that's another bonus and you also have the auto slash eco button for the fan control so I wish it was external so you can just switch it from outside but I guess this will this will do you know you don't really want to switch it often anyways because what for so yeah I actually uh, actually recommend to leave it on auto since uh, keeping the fan running will keep it cooler and keep the bar supply uh, lasting much longer than using the passive mode which just save very little very very little noise since on idle or low loads the fan doesn't even spin that fast and you can't really hear it so here's the screws itself also that you get so these are thumb screws now better than the normal power supply mounting screws which are just normal screws so bonus to power, uh, super power for giving us that and now let's take a look at the cables so you can see the 4 pin Molex connector on one chain, 3 of them and the universal connectors so you just connect them right there and then you also get the SATA chain you get 4 on the chain and again the universal connector for everything and you also get the 6 plus 2 pin connector for the GPUs and you get 2 on the same chain and then you also get uh, the SATA chain again so these have uh, three, uh, four connectors, but you you only get two SATA and two Molex. So here it is, uh, and you also get yeah another SATA chain and the 24 pin, and also get the CPU 8 pin power connector, and also get another. So this will be pretty handy if you're using a high powered CPU that requires two connectors on the motherboard itself. And then you also get another 6 plus 2 pin chain with two of them in the same chain like before. But yeah, and obviously you also get the power, power cord for the wall connector. So, wall socket. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 
and I guess you can say that the ventilation on the back is quite big uh, going up to the end so that's good to see more ventilation always helps and there's also the power connector here and also the power switch over here which is not the, which is not the big one since uh, it's not a 1000 watt power supply but yeah that's pretty much it for this unboxing hope you enjoyed the video there's not much much else to talk about on a power supply unboxing i guess so i'm just gonna end it right here thank you for watching uh hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please leave a like and please click subscribe to see more of my videos thanks for watching